What's up, YouTube? It's Nifty Dugan here. Today we're going to talk about joining a hog chapter. Let's roll the intro. Get right back. So you're thinking of joining a hog chapter. First, let's talk about joining. What do you need to do? Well, first, you need to be a member of National Hog. It's $49 a year currently, and uh, included with that is some patches and pins for mileage, etc. Uh, they give you a magazine subscription. They used to send you uh, maps and, and things like that, Road Atlas, but uh, I think they stopped that last year. You have a phone, you have a navigation. Uh, there's some guys that are old school, yeah, 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 I know. Uh, but most of us, <laughs> we're not sitting there taping maps onto our gas tanks anymore. Uh, and it comes with uh, a tow package. It's minimal. I think it's 50 miles to your destination, but uh, it's better than nothing. If you're riding local, break down, at least you know you're, uh, you're covered for that. Uh, the next thing is you need to join the local chapter, right? You go down to your local Harley dealer and um, you fill out the application. Our, ours, our cost is $20 for the year, and um, you, you hand your money in, you hand the application in, and you show up to a meeting, right? Ask when the next meeting is, and uh, for the most part, you just show up. You can uh, ping the, uh, the director if you know who he is on Facebook. I'm sure they won't mind. Uh, or the assistant director, he's in charge of membership, so probably the assistant director, and get the lowdown that way. Uh, but really, you just show up to the meeting, introduce yourself, and uh, and and listen. All right, this is all about meeting people, and uh, you'll meet a ton. Our chapter has got about 200 members right now, and uh, we have people from all walks of life. So it's it's kind of interesting that way. Uh, with that, you know, uh, out of 200 people, are you really going to be best friends with everybody? Are you going to be a brother for everybody? Um, probably not because when there's large groups, it doesn't matter if it's motorcycles or anything else, uh, you're gonna run into people that don't necessarily care for you or that you don't care for them, right? So um, people call it clicks. I, I don't like that word. We don't have clicks, uh, but we do have groups. Uh, and the reason why I don't use clicks is clicky is kind of a, a negative term. It really kind of insinuates that the people in that click are not open-minded and willing to talk to new people. Right? You can't get in their click. It's hard. And that's not true. Right? Every hog chapter, there's three that are right by my house. They're all within 20 miles of each other. And uh, I know people from all of them. And everybody's great. Uh, so that's why I call it groups. Right? You have a group of individuals that they, they kind of mesh. The personality meshes well. Their riding style meshes well. Uh, for me, I, I love the highway. I'm not a you know, a back road stop sign traffic light kind of guy. I like to just set my cruise control and go. Yeah, that, that's my style of riding. So I ride with a lot of guys that, that they like that as well. Uh, but then there's other riders that um, they want to just hop on their bike, do a local run to, uh, to maybe a pub or something like that, grab a beer, grab a sandwich for lunch or uh, early dinner, whatever it is, and uh, and head home, right? That's their idea of, uh, of having a great time on their bike. So to each their own. Uh, it really boils down to you're going to find somebody or a group of people that you really mesh well with. Um, another great thing about the hog chapter is, is for your 20 bucks, what do you get? It's 20 bucks for the year. Right? Some of these, these three patch or diamond clubs, it could be $150, $200 per month to join. So uh, it's a pretty hefty price to be part of a motorcycle club. I'll take the, the 20 bucks anytime. So what do you get? Uh, well, at our meetings, ours, we have pizza. Show up early, stuff your face. <laughs> uh, it's all paid for by uh, either the dealer or the club itself. Uh, the dealer does contribute quite a bit to us, which is fantastic. Uh, sometimes you get discounts, right, uh, for club members only, or the benefit. Um, you get to show up and the only thing you have to worry about is filling up your gas tank for 20 bucks for the year. All the road captains in the club, uh, 
the director, the assistant director, the head road captain, all these guys are working hard in the background, putting these rides together, putting events together, dinners, picnics. Uh, right now, uh, they're having a dart tournament at the, uh, the dealer this weekend. So there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, it's not just about riding, but uh, you know, it's, you, it's really what you make of it. You can go all in, or you can just show up for the rides. You know, nobody really cares. I mean, you're not expected to be anywhere or to do anything particular, unless, of course, you're an officer and you volunteer for that position, right? Then, uh, obviously, you want a bigger commitment, and uh, I'm sure the club will more than uh, more than be happy, uh, be more than happy rather to uh, to use your uh, services. So the commitment is as much as you want, but for the most part. You don't have to show up for a ride. Nobody cares. Other than uh, the friends you make, you know, want, wanting to see you. Uh, the club doesn't really care if you show up or not. There's there's no commitment. Uh, there's no rides that are mandatory. Uh, look, on some of these big benefit rides, we appreciate everybody showing up, obviously, because we're trying to raise money. And the more people that show up, the, the bigger the event and uh, the more publicity it gets and the bigger it gets year after year after year, right? A Veterans Day run is... Uh, when uh, we do it on the weekend, we get five or six hundred bikes, which is fantastic. We raise a lot of money. This year, we uh, went into Rockefeller Center, New York City, the tree run with uh, the Blue Knights. And um, I think we had just over 500 bikes in the uh, you know, first week in December. It was a little cold, but uh, it's worth it. Everybody's bringing their toys. Uh, so those are the kind of events. Uh, the road captains, again, are working really hard to put all this stuff together for you. Um, we also do weekend rides, long weekend rides. Our club is in central New Jersey. We've gone up to Lake Placid, a bunch of trips to Vermont for long weekends, Cooperstown, New York, Gettysburg, uh, some of the uh, the hog rallies down in, uh, in Virginia we've been to uh, two, two, three years ago, uh, the first year of COVID. We all went out to, uh, to Sturgis. There had to be 25 of us. So that was a great time. The COVID rally was, was great. <laughs> I don't know what everybody was afraid of. Uh, Ocean City, Maryland, Myrtle Beach we went to last year. So, uh, you know, there's there's plenty of people to, uh, to fit your riding style, which is really great. You know, there's one thing that we all have in common, and that is motorcycles, right? Everybody in that club loves riding motorcycles. So um, right there, it's a, you're off to a great start. So if you want to meet people, show up to the meeting. Hold your hand out, introduce yourself, and you're going to have to do that probably about a month <laughs> just because you're going to forget people's names and they're going to forget yours, and uh, that's just the nature of the game. Um, some people are a little adverse to, uh, to vests, and I call it a vest on purpose because it's not a cut. We don't have a cut. We have a vest. Right. We have patches, and you know, in a hog chapter, your vest kind of tells your own personal story, where you've been, what you've done on your bike, where you've traveled. Uh, it's it's kind of cool. Um, I don't, you know, I enjoy that part of it. When you're in a real motorcycle club, uh, it's a cut, and the patches that go on that cut are earned. Right? It's not um, something that uh, you're going to go to uh, Sturgis and and buy that patch and put it on your cut. Right? doesn't work that way so we don't necessarily care <laughs> that's leather on your back you do with it what you please whatever pins you want to put on there whatever patch you want to put on there go for it nobody cares it's there to tell your story um, there's no prospecting in in a hog chapter right so you're not gonna be asked to clean uh, 40 guys bikes <laughs> uh, you just show up again there's no obligation just show up you enjoy yourself uh, if not, you move on. Maybe you find another. Maybe you're uh, more looking for. Uh, you're looking more for a, a motorcycle club, uh, a real MC, right? And there's a bunch of different levels of MCs as well. So, uh, you yeah. know, if you're if you're into that, go for it. Uh, Hog Chapter is a good place to start. Uh, there are new riders. Some people look at that as a negative. Uh, I don't. Depends on how you handle it. Right, so we deal with uh, the new riders fairly well. Uh, we'll either put them up front so the road captain in charge of that particular ride can keep an eye on them and set the pace according, accordingly. 
or uh, they could ride in the back. Maybe that uh, the new rider's a little uh, uncomfortable and uh, he doesn't want the whole pack focused on him, which I don't really blame him. Uh, it makes him a little more nervous. So um, well, in that case, uh, they ride in the back. This way the sweep or the tail gunner, whatever you call them, uh, can keep an eye on them and they're in constant contact with the road captain in the front uh, and he could tell them uh, whether he needs to slow down a little bit. And uh, that's also another good thing is that uh, the rides are geared towards uh, everybody and everybody's riding ability, right? So if, uh, you know, we do have women riders and, uh, you know, we do have a lot of riders that do not appreciate going 90 miles an hour. Uh, my personal belief is, is uh, you know, I stay within the speed limits, maybe a couple of miles over, but I'm not a speed demon. You're not going to catch me carbon turns or anything like that. Those days are over. I had a sport bike. I had a lot of fun on it and I sold it for a reason. So uh, I'm on a Harley. My Harley is not made to go 90 miles an hour and, and carbon turns. <laughs> You're only asking for trouble on a bike like that. If you want to do that, go buy a sport bike. So we don't ride like that. Um, and club rides. Now they're Obviously, it depends on the group you're with. If you're with a group of guys and your riding ability is up there and uh, those guys want to do it, then sure, it happens. So, But it's not that it doesn't happen on a club ride. Right? Uh, you know, we usually have uh, two, one or two rides a weekend, uh, dinner rides as well uh, during the week, meet up for uh, for dinner after work. And then, of course, you got bike nights and stuff like that. We'll, we'll all meet and, uh, and get over there and ride over there together. So again, um, I would say it's uh, it's a great place if you're looking for some people to ride with. Uh, you're not going to have any problems, uh, you know, finding that at a hog chapter. Now, you know, all the chapters a little bit different, but in my experience, um, you know, everybody's friendly, everybody's very welcoming, everybody, you know, is happy to have more people. Uh, so it's fun. All right. I hope uh, you guys took away something from this. Any questions? Uh, put it down below. Um, if it, you found this video was uh, useful, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, let you know when uh, new videos come out, and uh, we'll see you guys soon.